think that's some awesome stuff. Uh, this is the Stoney and Jansen program. I'm so
big in the south, you know, more than here, you know. Yeah, you know, so it was, it's like 11 o'clock in central time. So yeah, was, right. You know, that was, that was pretty sick. I read that they, uh, $10 tickets for adults, kids free. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah I, I, know. Double. I, I didn't watch, you watch Saturday, I guess it was I, I much did. better. It was, it was really good. It was fun to watch. And, and Saturday night, the football was actually, it, well, I, I want to say good football, but it was, it, it wasn't a whole lot of mistakes. There weren't a lot of penalties, a lot of stoppage of plays. Look, it, it wasn't horrible. I, I can get, if the NFL is obviously the NFL, oh, yeah, college okay. football would be triple A, right? Yes. This was double. Uh, it, yeah. Yeah, so that's their double A. Yeah. Right, they you know, tele, the televised double A. You know, it's it's yeah. kind of like in, you know, in soccer, they have like third and fourth divisions in, in, yeah. in England. And I'm excited about But Slappy's like me, we'll watch it because it's football. Yeah. And there are a few names that you, you know and individuals Steve you know. Scott, yeah, I was, you know, yeah. he played really good in Indiana. Yeah. He was Mike Hart's guy. Yeah, he was good running back. Um, and it's just, it, what you see is <coughs> all of the, the the things that those individuals didn't do well in college, they haven't fixed because oh. that's why they're there. Okay, my, my back, yeah, I know we, didn't want to, we weren't planning on talking about this that much from the top, but my takeaway was Shea Patterson was Shea Patterson, okay? Yes. His, you know what his QB rating was? 145.7. He was 17 to 25. They dropped like four passes, one touchdown, no picks, but he had three fumbles, lost yeah. one of them. Yeah. My other takeaway is... How the hell was Paxton Lynch your number one draft choice? Paxton Lynch made Shea Patterson look like Patrick Mahomes. Right. Well, he was That's he was a team's number one uh, <laughs> draft pick, but he was drafted late first round. Wow, he was just he his was QBR awful. was one, yeah. one point seven. <laughs> it was wow. two for five, an interception, for one, and one yard. Yeah, not good. Yes. Uh, it was it was it was interesting. Not as good as uh, some of the NBA stuff. Oh my goodness, some great games. Uh, the, 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 and look, I know a lot of us forget because the Pistons haven't been you know, in the playoff hunt for a long time. But after like one game of a series, if they lose or they win, people would always over, you know, people would make series, you know, projections based on game one of a seven game series. Yeah. I and mean, all the cliches would come out. Well, it's Larry Brown. It's not a series until a home team loses. You know, or that. But that meant Celtics game. You know, people say, oh, this is going to be the greatest first-round series ever. Cool down a little bit. But that was an un believable basketball game, if you want. I mean, the, the Celtics were control, the Nets came back. And say what you want, because he's kind of a weird dude. Kind of. Kyrie Irving oh, yeah. is just, I mean, he, he didn't get, maybe he got one vote, maybe, in our top five picks Oh yeah, Friday. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, top five uh, NBA players currently. Yeah. Tatum was mentioned, you know, Kyrie had 39, Tatum with the winning basket at the end, but well, what's taken a little shine away from the game, if you want to call it shine, is that Kyrie gave the double bird to the fans. Because look, he had a bad experience in Boston, and he was terrible, and it just didn't work, and yeah. he gets booed all the time, and you know, rightfully so, I got no problem as we discussed with booing yes. athletes, uh, but he gave them the... Uh, is that his version of, uh, of booing back? Are, are, are they not allowed well, to reply? Here's Kyrie Irving when basically asked about this. You know, it's nothing new when I come into this building and <coughs> what it's going to be like, but it's the same energy they have for me, and I'm going to have the same energy for them. And it's not every fan. I don't want to attack every fan, every Boston fan, but, um, you know, when people start yelling and, 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 and all this stuff, it's about so much you can take uh, as a competitor. And, um, you know, we're the ones expected to be docile, be humble, and take a humble approach. Now, that's the playoffs. This is what it is. You know, I, I've, I know what to expect in here, and it's the same energy I'm giving back to them. And I'm sure he'll be fine. Probably. Because you, it's not right if they are saying those type of things to yeah. a certain extent, especially when you're that close. Uh, and, you know, as long as there are no, especially racial epithets and things like that. But you're supposed to be above it. Now, personally, I don't look at the birds as, as, that, as that big of a deal. Right. I think it's got to the point where it's just an expression. Yes, more than, number one. More than actual, you know, the word sometimes. But, you know, I don't expect him to be suspended. He will be fine. 
Yeah. Um, but it's, I, I go back and forth. Now, I, I never, I mean, obviously I had, I had things thrown at me, had you know, people say whatever they wanted, and I just kind of ignored it. Right. Um, not kind of, I did ignore it. And some guys just can't ignore it. But, but for like NBA players, they are much closer. Oh, yeah. Um, and they have many more games. So they have to be, they have to have this, this fence up a lot more. What I go back with from that they shouldn't do this and they, they should just ignore it to if the fans are allowed to do this and you know you look up there they're flipping him the bird um, why not because look I agree because it's better for the you know who cares if you're a fan and he flips you the bird who cares in some situations whether LeBron and some other players people cursing and yelling at him they'll go to a security and have these guys thrown out of the building he's not doing that right yeah he's just he's just replying uh, with the, like as he says the right. same energy right. that they're sending his way look when you're that close you don't need to whether you think it or not call a professional athlete a small cat right, right? you don't no you don't so you know you, you call him you yell you say some bad things so he flips your back yeah and I think it's all right I mean he's right it's the playoffs yeah, um, and he's gonna. He will get fined. He won't get suspended. No. That would be ridiculous to, to suspend somebody. But it's this game was, and I only saw the highlights of it. I, I didn't tune in for it until I saw it on, <coughs> on your prep that this was a great game. And I did see the the notifications. Mm -hmm. uh, Jason Tatum hit the obviously game winning layup. Yeah. I just imagine if the Nets had Ben Simmons, <laughs> <laughs> and they would have missed some shots down the stretch. Wouldn't have taken them. <laughs> You know, that that game was great. I watched some of it, not Imagine. all of it. Yeah. Made dinner and all that. But uh, Sony, that that was like a Game 5 East, Eastern yes. Conference Final. Yes, it was. Environment. Yeah. It was crazy. It was great. And I, 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 his actions, I just don't... I understand it to a degree. But where's... What's the end here for him with this? Is he going to keep going back and forth with it? You know, maybe if he says this with a smile on his face, I don't know. I mean, I just think it's okay. Like, if they're booing him, who cares? But if they're cursing at him and saying things like that, I got no problem with him. You know, the, you you know can't, he, don't go in the stands and don't confront the actual individual fan. He's not doing that. Can you really, though, give the bird? I mean, it, I thought, like, you put the question in your prep, but what if somebody in the NFL did this? Yeah. It, like how much more magnified it would be. I mean, what if Tom Brady did that? Like in New England last year. <laughs> you know, it's like, well, good job. They, they, he probably would be suspended. Well, they'd be suspended for a regular season game. I don't know if they'd not for the playoffs. playoffs. No, uh, it's it's completely different from the playoffs, and, and you can pay that penalty next next season. Yes. All right, our telephone number two four eight five three nine ninety seven ninety seven. You think it's okay for athletes to heckle back or? You know, Flip the bird. Uh, coming up on the program, former NFL general manager Thomas Dimitrov. He had a conversation with Brad Holmes, so we'll get a little insight into that. Also, <coughs> Michigan Wolverine <coughs> Chase Winovich will join us, and uh, he's getting a special award. At the other tour? Yeah, the revenge tour, starting with you. 97 won the ticket. Hey, the playoffs are here, and you can make every game feel like Game 7 on FanDuel Sportsbook, an official partner of the NBA. Throughout the playoffs, all customers can place a no-sweat same-game parlay each and every week. You're going to get up to $25 in free bets if you don't win. FanDuel has so many ways to play, and best of all, when you do win, you're going to get paid as fast as, as, as one of the fast breaks that you see. New to FanDuel. Just download the FanDuel Sportsbook app and sign up with promo code Jansen. Once again, that's promo code Jansen. And if you already have an account, you're all set to bet. No sweat. Either way, you're going to get $25 back in free bets if your same game parlay during the playoffs doesn't win. FanDuel Sportsbook, an official partner of the NBA. FanDuel Sportsbook, also the official partner of 97 won the ticket. Must be 21 or over. Present Michigan refund issued as non withdrawable free bets that expire seven days after receipt. Max free bet $20 per week. Restrictions apply. See full terms at sportsbook.fanduel.com. Gambling problems called 1 800 270 7117 for confidential help. 97 won the ticket.
report brought to you by Nika IBEW Local 58. A look at the drive this morning. Things are clear on the freeways. No accidents or slowdowns. Construction continues if you're heading.